the solution to the two differential equations that describe the voltage and the current on a transmission line, otherwise known as telegrapher's equations, are given as follows. If this equation is starting to look familiar to you, that's good. It is one of the fundamental equations in engineering, and it describes a wave. A wave in space, which is the e to the minus gamma z component, and a wave in time, which is the e to the j omega t component. Note that we will not always explicitly write e to the j omega t, as e to the j omega t is oftentimes simply implied, since all of the waves that we are dealing with, with are waves in time. The solution consists of a forward wave and a backward wave. Previously we defined gamma to be equal to the square root of r plus j omega l times g plus j omega c. This is of course a complex number and let's further define the real part to be equal to alpha and the imaginary part to be equal to beta. For a lossless transmission line where the series resistance and shunt resistance R and G are both equal to zero, the propagation constant gamma can be simplified and it reduces to J omega times the square root of LC which is equal to J beta where beta is equal to omega times the square root of LC. So for the case of, the, of a lossless transmission line, beta is the propagation constant of the current and voltage waveforms and is given in units of radians per meter. Now let's look at just the forward wave. We write the equation of the forward wave. And if gamma is equal to alpha plus j beta, then making the substitution, we can rewrite this equation as follows. Now let's take the real part of this equation and write V naught plus times e to the minus alpha z times cosine of omega t minus beta z. In this equation the term e to the minus alpha z is the attenuation term and the term cosine of omega t minus beta z is the propagation term. It is helpful to visualize this wave traveling in space and traveling in time. And there are two fundamental quantities that describe traveling waves. The first of these quantities is phase velocity. Now to derive phase velocity, let's imagine staying at a single point on the wave as the wave is moving in space and moving in time. And this implies that omega t minus beta z is constant. 
If we then take the derivative of space variable z with respect to time, which is exactly the definition of phase velocity, we get omega divided by beta. Therefore, phase velocity, vp, is equal to omega divided by omega times the square root of lc, which is equal to 1 divided by the square root of lc. The second fundamental quantity in describing traveling waves is wavelength lambda. We know that a sine wave repeats every 2 pi radians. So to find the wavelength lambda, we equate 2 pi with beta times lambda. Solving for lambda, we get 2 pi divided by beta, which is equal to 2 pi divided by omega times the square root of LC, where the units are meters.